bright field microscopy part one this is the topic of my lecture and i am sumati hajela associate professor department of biotechnology ips academy indore introduction a microscope is a piece of scientific equipment that helps us to see things that are too small to be seen through naked eyes the science of investigating small objects using such an instrument is called microscopy so uh, first such instrument which we are going to uh, see today is bright field microscope which is also known as commonly known as light microscope or compound microscope and this is the simplest type of light microscope the word bright field suggests that field around the specimen remains bright to give contrast to dark or colored objects for cell biologists especially it is the basic tool for studying cell structures principle what is the principle on which uh, uh, why we can use this for studying small particles so principle is like that when the light rays are passed through a material light absorption takes place contrast in the image is formed by differential absorption of light in various parts of the specimen the specimen appear in a uniformly illuminated field its structure revealed by varying contrast in color and intensity there are many specialized techniques which have been developed for the staining they may be selective staining or differentially dyeing portions of otherwise trans transparent specimen so that they will exhibit different contrast and colors in bright field another part of uh, principle is uh, magnification by microscope and what is magnification it is an act or process of enlarging only in appearance appearance and not actually in physical size so uh, the thing looks big but actually it is not that big actually it is uh, so small that we cannot see that through our naked eyes it is the measure of ability of a lens or other optical instruments to magnify and it is expressed as the ratio of size of the image to that of the object if we try to calculate magnification by the microscope uh, we will be using the following formula which is focal tube length divided by focal length of the objective lens multiplied by magnification of ocular Uh, i will be discussing various parts of uh, microscope later and uh, right now we are discussing is uh, principle so next part of the principle is uh, what is resolving power of this type of uh, microscope this type of microscope resolves up to 0.2 micrometers microns and what is resolving power it is the ability of an optical instrument to separate or distinguish small or closely placed objects as two different entities that is if two things are kept very close together lens or this machine must distinguish them as separate entities this is the power of lens present in the microscope 
and uh, if we try to calculate resolving power it is equal to the lambda by 2 multiplied by na so what is lambda and what is any on which resolving power depends lambda is wavelength of the light used and any is the numerical aperture of the objective lens now uh, we know about the wavelengths uh, light a uh, white light is made up of uh, vibgeor variety of colors and their shaded shades uh, basically these are seven colors but uh, their shades in between shades are there so every shade or color has a particular wavelength so whatever wavelength we use according to that optical instrument uh, distinguishes small or closely placed objects as different entities numerical aperture it is the measure of its ability to gather light and to resolve fine specimen details by working at a fixed object distance it its ability means objectives ability which is in front of the specimen and gathers all the light to make image if we try to calculate it the formula will be na is equal to eta sine alpha here eta is the maximum refractive index of various materials between the specimen and objective lens while alpha is the half angle of oblique ray that enters the front lens of the object. Light path of the microscope has been shown here. Uh, source of light gives light which enters the condenser lens. Condenser lens uh, focuses these uh, rays towards the specimen light passes through specimen and uh, due to differential absorption various uh, parts uh, uh, after colliding with the various parts uh, and uh, their differential absorption light rays uh, enter the objective lens objective lens makes one uh, image which is again uh, acts as a as new object for ocular lenses and then this ocular lens makes an image which we collect through our eyes this is the figure of uh, or a picture of microscope and uh, I have not made it. This is the image taken from somewhere whose reference is given here. Again, uh, this is uh, another image in which you can see the various parts of uh, a compound microscope. Parts of compound microscope may be divided into mechanical parts and optical parts. Mechanical parts include base or a stand, pillars, inclination joint, curved arm, body tube, draw tube, resolving nose piece, coarse adjustment, fine adjustment, and stage. While optical parts may be uh, classified as light source, iris diaphragm, substage condenser, objective uh, lenses uh, are fixed here, which are uh, more than one in number. So, first is uh, scanning objective, 
having power of 4x, then low power objective 10x, high drive my objective is of uh, 60 and 40, and finally oil immersion objective of 100x power. And finally, last part of the op uh, last opti optical part is eyepiece or ocular lenses. Now, light source is used as the source of illumination. Transmitted light is used in all types of light microscopes. It passes through the object and image is captured by the lens system. Light source may be sunlight or artificial light. Mirror and lens. The mirror reflects the light when sunlight is used as the light source. Light source other than sunlight requires both mirrors and lenses. As the mirror increases the light intensity, the lens brightens the light Lens collects the light rays coming directly from the light source and also reflects the rays for convergence. Two types of mirrors are used. Plano mirror, which reflects the parallel beam of light for focusing of, uh, there is no focus, sorry, there is no focusing of light. Then second variety is concave mirror. Uh, the reflected light is converged by the mirror. As a result, a concentration, a, sorry, a cone of light is formed at the apex of the cone. The intensity of the light is maximum. When a condenser is used, plano mirror should be used. Use of concave mirror along with condenser system makes the condenser system inefficient. That is, when condenser system is not used, concave mirror is preferable. Condenser system. It directly facilitates the resolving power of the microscope. Resolution is achieved by optical means. During resolutions, aberrations that occur are minimized or ruled out by the process called optical correction. The condenser system is located between mirror and stage and hence it is also called sub-stage condenser. It can also be located between the focal lens and the stage. It is, uh, its function is to collect, converge and regulate light rays coming from light source on the specimen. Iris diaphragm. Beneath the condenser is an iris diaphragm regulating the quantity of light entering into condenser. It helps to obtain bright light from light source. Specimen stage. It is the square or round type the square type of a stage may be immovable or movable. Immovable stage possesses clips to hold the slides. Movable stage can be moved with the help of gliders. It can be moved forward, backward, and sideways. Round stage is run in polarizing microscopes. Now, objective lens system is located at the lower end of the tube facing the object. It is attached to resolving nose piece. It is very important as it affects the quantity, quality of image seen by the observer. The functions of the objective lens system are resolution and magnification. Their magnification may be 10x, 40x, 60x or 100x out of which 100x objective lens is called oil immersion objective lens. 
most commonly used medium for immersion is cedar wood oil with refractive index of 1.5 which prevents dispersion of light rays the lens must be dipped properly and completely in the oil for accurate image formation focus adjustments accurate focusing is obtained by a special screw appliance known as a fine adjustment course adjustment knob is also present ips or ocular lens this is a short tube with two lenses which fits into the upper part of the microscopic tube it is called the second lens system its main function is to magnify image formed by the objective lens ips are marked 5x 10x 15x etc most commonly 10x hygienian ips is used in compound microscopes it only magnifies but does not resolve the image so this was the explanation or uh, description of variety of parts of microscope you are seeing here this is the ray diagram of compound microscope uh, which means how the two lens systems make image uh, and magnify it too you can see that object is kept here behind the focal length of the objective its image is forming here uh, within the focal length of the ocular lens and the image formed is here which is inverted and very much big or magnified this is the real image and this is virtual image magnification of compound microscope may be calculated by this formula we have already studied this formula uh this is m m is equal to d by fo multiplied by capital l divided by fe d is the least distance of distinct vision that is 25 cm l is the length of microscopic tube fo focal length of objective lens fe focal length of ips lens objective lenses more about objective lenses uh you can see here these are these are mounted on nose piece it forms magnified real image and magnification of objective as you have already see uh, may be divided by optical tube length may be divided by focal length and types of uh, objective lenses are scanning lens low power lens high power lens and oil immersions these objectives are fixed on rotated nose piece this uh, immersion objective lens is marked separately by a black ring line indicating that this is immersion objective lens each lens mm, has its details written on this part of the lens oil immersion objective how it it works you can see that these lights are coming from the uh, of uh, specimen then this is glass again uh, when light comes out after striking the specimen here uh, though this light is going out this uh, and uh, most of the light light rays enter objective lens because it is in close proximity with the specimen and here uh, we put oil 
Oil prevents refraction of light outwards and allows it to pass straight into the objective. And it gives highest magnification of the specimen. And you can see uh, A, B, C, and D are in air while F, P, E, and G are in oil. So this, this is uh, used for making image. Now, IPS, IPS forms magnified virtual and erect image. It can be monocular or biocular or tri, trinocular. Another classification may be Hygienian IPS, Ramston IPS, and compensating IPs. Total magnification which we get from the microscope, power of uh, objective lens is multiplied by the power of IPs lens and total magnification uh, we get in each case we can see here uh, this is uh, if it is 4x then uh, it will be 40x 10x 10x sorry while 10x 10x make 100x 40 multiplied by 10 is 400 and here 60x gives 600 if it is uh, 100x multiplied by uh, 10x then it will be 1000x which is uh, the total magnification we get by oil emission objective lens uh, i think this is all for this uh, this present lecture let me check if i have went left anything Okay, I have covered all the slides present here for today's lecture. Uh, one more important thing that uh, I have uh, used uh, some figures from other resources. And so uh, this is purely for the lecture of for my, my students and this is not for this lecture is not for private use because I'm using some other others uh, other resources also and uh, taking their pictures. I have not made those pictures myself, so it is only for my students. And I'm uh, closing down my lecture now. Thank you. <laughs>